Stand against the door and look straight. Alex, look straight. Now, when you become an astro, I don't think so. Oh, no, not that. Not that. And it's the team was not named for the dome. The team was named for the astronauts. Yeah. And I just had to say it. See, I told you you could see the dome at Kennedy. They put these up while they were on their way. What's the matter? Step on him if you see him. This is the what? The one that sit behind the home plate. This is their. Uh huh. This is where the perfect red seats. And if you look up on either side, you will see the blue and gold and red chairs. Oh, okay. Now, if you've never sat in a chair that cost twenty thousand dollars for eighty-one home games, please go in the diamond level. Here and set the box on the right. Here, diamond level K and L. This box is jointly owned by Braden Plain Jr. and George Bush, former president. Y'all sitting there, we'll take a picture of y'all from the front. Christina, go sit in the chair. Okay. You have to buy them for the whole 20s here. Oh, I got to sit right there. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can sit where Mrs. Bush sits, okay? <laughs> and then sit back there where the governor of Texas sits. Oh. George W. Bush. George W. Bush. This is good. Your daddy would just kill for this. Oh, I hope not. He would love this. Great McLean's box. Okay. This is great. The bushes. Now, these are the only two seats the bushes cannot take. Oh, sure. You can go in the dugouts. Y'all sit in the dugout and let's get a picture. Y'all come, come sit on the bench. We want to get a picture. It is funny. It's not a dugout. It's right. Watch y'all scoot down. Well, y'all got to sit closer or we're not going to be able to get here, but... I wish he could take the panoramic. Does that take a, can you do that on regular film? Come down here, Bagwell. That's 
Nina. Nina. Oh, they want to take individuals? Get over there. Wait. Stay there, Alex. Am I supposed to take pictures of everybody? Yeah. There's no you can get them all together. Just kind of screwed up. They don't have to sit in the same spot. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. You're going to be the first female asshole. Matthew, scoot over. These stairs here. These stairs here, they go down into the hallway that we came up. that takes them to the hallway that goes up to it. It's stupid. I don't know. I just want to see if you want to sit in the back. And there's a bathroom right there. He did. I said, does that mean you two guys ever clean that? Hey, Christina, no, let's not play in the dirt. Well, please don't do that to the dirt, darling. Stay out of the dirt. I'd let you run on it. No, let's, let's stay out of the dirt. Stay out of the dirt. Don't let them fall in it. Because being told that the condition of the paper for the address the thing out here. Gene came up here and said, do you want a bat? Jacob gave him a tea, a ball, and a bat. Wow. Jacob thinks we own this bat. <laughs> I said, thank you, Dr. Cole. Stay down. Ready? It's a long ways up now. Christina. Christina told me no. Don't smell. <laughs> That's where the TV. That's where the giant alligators live down there. Y'all stay out of the dirt. It's better. When they hit a home run, they shoot it off. Is that where mom came back? Yeah. That is. That! You can't. Why you get on to it? You can't come down. You can't walk. You just yeah. keep on. That's what that. Um, one guy hit a home run. Yeah. My mom ran down. Once you get up there. Oh, see how high you can jump, Chris.
Come on, I want to see somebody touch the top. Becky plowed into it. Christina, get up off the floor, baby. Kitties? Kitty cats. We only have about ten left. Okay, y'all head down. Man, I can't believe you knocked it to the rainbow from there. Jeez. So they know which person went through, oh, he went through Pista. Somebody's hungry. This is where they end. This is where they end, yeah. For football. I'm sorry. I just love to see how they do it. I like to see the seats. Yeah. Slow down. Coca-Cola? I think you can bring your picture. Let's just come over there. Go no stairs. Let's go inside and see a film. My grandson came in. He is a child. He came in the other day and I said, Were you in time out today, Jim? The Astro, the original, still the greatest. In 1965, it was the world's first domed stadium. Today, it remains the yardstick by which all other sports and entertainment venues are measured. Texas. From the beginning, the Astrodome was designed to live up to that famous Texas brand. Its lists of firsts, biggests, and bests rewrote the Guinness Book of World Records. The outside diameter is an imposing 710 feet. Inside diameter is 642 feet, four and a half times the diameter of Rome's pen. Its expansive roof boasts more than 4,500 lucite skylights. The ceiling looms 210 feet above the playing surface, tall enough to enclose an 18-story office building. Its cavernous interior measures 60 million cubic feet in volume. 
The dome seats 63,000 in climate-controlled luxury. With two Diamond Vision screens, three matrix boards with 30,200 incandescent lamps, QV, and more than 500 video monitors throughout the dome. Fans are never out of touch with the excitement on the field, even when they're at any of the 50 restaurants, concession stands, and gift shops throughout the building. The Astrodome was the first stadium with movable grandstands, enabling it to host a baseball game in the afternoon, a football game at night, and another baseball game the next day. It introduced the concept of the luxury skybox suite, and today has 116 lavish skyboxes and star Columbia suites encircling two stadium levels. Sixty-six hundred tons of air conditioning cooled the dome. With a quarter million cubic feet of fresh air intake per minute, this massive system keeps the Astrodome at a comfortable 72 degrees year-round. Most Astrodome fans can walk down to their seats because the playing field sits 27 feet below ground level. And sitting on that playing field is another Astrodome innovation, Astrodome, the first artificial playing surface and yet another way in which the Astrodome shaped the world of sports. In other words, all the glowing accolades and great reviews, the world records and larger-than-life descriptions are true. The Astrodome stands tall against the big Texas sky, personifying the spirit of Houston. Space City, USA, the men and women who built it into one of the largest, most important cities in America, and the individuals who dared to imagine the traditional American pastime of baseball being played indoors. People of vision. The vision belonged to the Houston Sports Association, a group of prominent businessmen led by R.E. Bob Smith, committed to bringing a Major League Baseball franchise to hot, muddy Houston. But not until Judge Roy Hoffines proposed building an air-conditioned stadium did the Bio City get its wish. Hoffines, a former Harris County judge, Texas legislator, and mayor of Houston, was a promotional woman, a master showman in the mold of P.T. Barnum. He was convinced that a fully enclosed, air-conditioned dome stadium could be built in Houston and convinced the voters of Harris County and the National League he was right. In the fall of 1960, the National League awarded a Major League franchise to the Houston Sports Association, and the Houston Colt 45s were born. In 1962, Major League Baseball came to Houston as the Colt 45s beat the Chicago Cubs before a sellout crowd in Colt Stadium, a temporary structure located in what is now the Astrodome parking lot. Meanwhile, just yards away, strange things were happening. Tons of earth were being moved. Giant steel towers were going up. And day by day, curious Houstonians wondered what was going on as history was being built just minutes from downtown. Size of the place, the rainbow colors of the seats, 
the futuristic costumes worn by ushers and grounds uh. and the world's largest score a two million dollar light show four stories tall and 474 feet that's one and a half football fields dedicated to special effects information and animation the great mickey mantle blasted the first indoor home run some of the most exciting, unusual, and record-breaking events in sports and entertainment history. Baseball history. He has Baker standing in his way. Two balls and no strikes to Baker. And a ground ball to third. He has got it, Art Howe. He got it. All the No hitter number five. sadly said goodbye to the famed Astrodome scoreboard and its unique home run spectacular. 
and farewell to the amazing five-story VIP suite, a miniature resort which included, among other things, a bowling alley, a private barber shop, medieval chapel, children's theater, and full presidential suite. And in 1993, Astrodome fans saw yet another set of improvements. Great new food. <laughs> new fun and games. And a new level of personal service at Texas Hospitality. Today, the Astrodome is the whole field advantage for the NFL's Houston Oilers. The University of Houston Cougars. The Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo, the world's largest and wildest rodeo. Some of the world's most impressive trade shows, like the Offshore Technology Conference. And of course, the Houston Astros, the team that started it all. The Dome. It's more than a stadium. It's more like a living, breathing entity. Thousands of dedicated employees in constant motion, preparing for an event, serving the fans, cleaning, polishing, and doing it all over again the very next day. Long before the first fan walks through the turnstile, the preparation begins. In the general offices, I'm filming. Just sit back and we'll get something to eat in a minute.
Okay, let's see a pitch. Throw it, Matthew. Throw, take it, throw it, a pitch. Yeah, see it doesn't. Okay, last chance. You won't ever get to come stand on that ever again. Pitch. Pitch, Dina. Throw one. Pitch on the ground. Ball. Matthew don't get to put it in his room. Thank you. Now, now somebody's gonna get out of that and come over here and get her. Go get it, hurry! Hurry! Yeah, I, oh, yeah, I gave you. Yeah, I'm about to give you. Can I have one? It's 65. Look at the cars. I said, yeah, they're trying. 65. This is when it first. Oh, I know. This is what it looks like now. Who didn't get one? Hey, is there a pink? You see a pink and white Ford? With your daddy. Is Backbone your favorite character? Is Backbone your favorite player? Huh? Did you get a Bagwell poster? Let's let mommy carry it, okay? Did you get a poster? I know I've just had two of them. I don't know. When I come when I come in on Saturday to give the tours. I don't know. I'm too lazy to go all the way around on the southeast side of the building to get it. This is the Bagwell. You see our car? I'm building with it. That's your car right Come on, let's go. We're on the sky level. Boy, we are high. They're cool though. All the food you can eat. We came here for the rodeo and got free tickets one year. You could put that out in your front yard. People. She may have gave it to him over there. Can we go to the eighth floor? Dad. This is the highest level of the dome. Don't get up on the rail. You mean the tiles in that level? Yeah, the sand. Look at There's a ladder over there. I'm skip to get to the catwalk. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't walking across that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm walking across what? 
Happy birthday to you. 